Jack, I think I got to start off asking you about this news about NVIDIA uh, warning about the export curbs on its ships going to China. Is any of this trade war, is it impacting your business? Well, it's not impacting us directly. Uh, we have plenty of access to the compute. In fact, just yesterday we announced a major deal with NVIDIA, and previously we announced a deal with Google, uh, giving us plenty of access. Essentially, we've got a supercomputer of GPUs in the cloud uh, from NVIDIA and Google, and that gives us a 4x speed up in the AI that we can develop. Uh, as you know, Frank, we're, we focus not on large language models, but on large quantitative models, LQMs, that's what's driving 80% of the GDP of the economy. Okay. Um, I want to talk to you more broadly about some of the risk in this trade war. Um, I know you came on to talk about some other news. We're going to get to it. But are you concerned at all about the idea of tariffs on digital services or some type of tax on digital services in response to the Trump, to the Trump administration's trade war with other countries really focused on goods? We've heard some talk about that possibly coming up. The main focus uh, of the tariffs really is on goods. Uh, there's a focus on bringing manufacturing back to the U.S. Uh, there's a focus on supply chain resilience. And I think in general, over the last 20 years, even before these tariffs, you've seen a lot of manufacturers begin to diversify where they get their supply from. Uh, and I think that will now continue and people will look at uh, a lot of different places to manufacture. And hopefully, they'll also look at the U.S., I think robotics uh, will be a major factor in the next five to seven years. So not in the very near term, but over the next five to seven years, when you see a manufacturing plant go up, be it U.S. or be it around the world, you're going to see robotics working with humans uh, to make that happen. So humanoid robots powered by AI is going to be a major factor as well. In terms of the tariffs, one area that I would point people to also is on the retail side. Uh, I think there's an expectation that the administration hopefully will come to a settlement with a number of these countries pretty soon, because retailers have to put their orders in pretty quickly, next 60, 90 days for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And if we want to have a robust Christmas in America, we're going to have to see those orders go through. And those will be made in a wide variety of countries. There's not enough time this year to retool to all U.S. Uh, domestic manufacturing. So that's one area I would point people to as well. But in terms of the tariff areas, mainly focus on goods, what we're looking at is, can we get to more certainty? And I think over the next few months, we will. All right, Jack, you're a really long-term thinker. You're already thinking about Christmas. I want to go back to your news and something coming up a, a little sooner. RSA, big cybersecurity conference, yeah. something you're focused on. Also, the fact that uh, there's about a billion AI agents either existing or kind of on the horizon and the threat landscape there. Explain what you're doing in response to that. Frank, the key area of AI now is agentic AI, AI agents. What's an AI agent? It's a piece of code that has more autonomy than typically we give to most software. That autonomy means that it can go into your browser, it can book tickets for you for travel, it can do things for your business. In general, the positive side of agents is that it can do a lot of things in a productive way. On screen now, I think our viewers are looking at agents that we created at Sandbox AQ that can develop new molecules for medicine, for treatments, for cancer, for Alzheimer's. And you're seeing five different agents. This is the era now, Frank, of multi-agentic. So on the good news side, we're going to see over a billion agents deployed by the Fortune 1000, the Global 1000, over the next two years or so. Good news is productivity gains, new treatments, biopharma, materials, uh, quant finance, a lot of different agents. But the warning that we would share with people today is that there's also a cyber risk to these AI agents as well. And at RSA, we'll be announcing a number of protections that people can take against these AI agents getting out of control by hackers overtaking okay. that agent.